Super excited! We're back in Kingston, Pennsylvania, and we're visiting a living legend today. Most living legends are older, but not the cat we got today. Who could it be? Where are the Goombas going today? It's Farmer Danny! Farmer Danny! What's going on, buddy? Not much. How old are you now? I'm 11. And who's with you today? My sister Sam. And you're teaching her how to garden now? I guess. Can't wait to see what you got, buddy. Can't wait to show ya. Man, yeah. Cuz, guess what? As Farmer Danny's getting older, he's getting smarter. Before all those birds, rabbits, squirrels, everything was getting his stuff, look at this now. Planter boxes, and look what else comes with it. You know, this is unbelievable because it lets the water drain properly. He's a smart kid. I'm smarter than Doc. That's not really much of a benchmark. So, in this garden box, we have my kale. I'm getting some flowers on my peppers. And Farmer Danny, this looks unbelievable. This is very healthy. You can tell your chlorophyll and your yeah. kale is doing great. Oh, yeah, it's doing really great. We have some of the flowers on my peppers. Oh, you're ahead of the game, baby. He's oh, yeah. already got peppers coming in. We have some dill for when we uh, pickle some of the pick for when we pickle some of the cucumbers. So you actually grow your own dill, and you, I saw you have cucumbers over there. So you're growing your yeah. cucumbers in your dill for pickling. Yeah. Is that what's getting this hair? Is this a wig? Is this <laughs> no. a wig? Mingy, Danny. No. I'm kind of jealous. At least he has hair. Danny, you got great hair. You got a great garden. How many kids already have tomatoes at your age? Do you know what kind this is? That might be a big beef. I'm not sure, but pretty positive. You got a ton of flowers on your tomatoes. Your dill's popping. Your kale's ready to pick. What else you got? Well, over here I have some lettuce. And you know, sometimes lettuce doesn't do good because all these big guys are getting getting some more light and more nutrients. But that's okay. We might leave that guy to grow bigger. You better hope Doc doesn't see this salad or he's going to take it home. He might. And then I have some more peppers, some more little flowers starting. Unbelievable, Danny. And let me tell Danny, you. this is an eggplant. Egg, oh, my God. You got a little Italian in you, don't you? And this egg is a plant. gorgeous one. Oh, yeah. And then I'm assuming these are your these cucumbers? These are our cucumbers. You can tell by the tendrils. Watermelon get tendrils, and so do cantaloupe because they crawl and they like to climb onto stuff. So that's what they use those little tendrils for. That's a great garden tip. And if you never knew what these were called, Farmer Danny, what are they again? They're called tendrils. Cuzzy, enough about the kid. He's not that great. He has weeds. Make sure you pull these weeds, Danny, you so it doesn't... Those aren't weeds. weeds. That's sweet corn. That's sweet corn, man. Yeah, this kid's growing corn. Danny, this has been an unbelievable experience. It's your second time on the Goombas. When did you start all this? How long have you been well, gardening? I've been gardening for a while. It started with my grandfather. Unfortunately, he's not with us, but it started with our grandfather. He always liked to garden. He had a garden in the back, and it was really awesome, and it was an experience because he let me garden with him. Well, I love that story, Danny, and I love coming to visit you. Thank you for having us today in your garden. Thank you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who's eating my lettuce? It looks like we got a rabbit in the garden. Come on. What are you doing to this kid? I don't know what he's talking about. Doc, this has been an unbelievable experience. Who are we? We're the Garden Goombas. And what are we doing? Looking, Looking for gardens. gardens. 